Good evening, friends, and welcome back. Hopefully you've been enjoying this series of fireside stories. Without further ado, let's get into tonight's story submitted for your approval, The Tale of the Lee County Lizard Man. It was the summer of 1988, and 17-year-old Christopher Davis was headed home after a shift at the fast food restaurant in town. Usually, these late night drives were pretty uneventful. However, on this particular evening, one of his tires flew out as he was passing the Snape Four Swamp. So Christopher pulled over and got his tools out of the back of the car. As he was finishing putting on the spare tire, he heard a strange sound. It was like feet hitting pavement at a rapid pace. This was understandably unnerving. He was completely alone out here. Or so he thought. It continued to get louder, and he realized the sound was coming from directly behind him. So he turned around, flashlight in hand, and there at the very end of the road, he could make out a figure. It had to have been at least seven feet tall. As it got closer, he could see it had dark, scaly skin, razor-sharp claws, and was charging directly toward him. He wasted no time grabbing his tools, throwing them in the back, and starting the engine. As he slammed on the gas pedal, he could see in the rear view mirror the figure lunging at the car. It latched onto the roof, and Christopher swerved wildly back and forth across the road. He was eventually able to lose whatever this creature was and make it home safely. And in the light of day, he was able to see the full extent of the damage to his car and just how much danger he was in. One of the side mirrors had been ripped clean off and along the roof of the car were deep claw marks. Now the family did not go to the police right away. I mean, who would believe a story about a seven foot tall lizard attacking a car? But a few weeks went by and another family in town reported a similar incident. The bumper on their vehicle had been ripped off and all along the doors were claw marks similar to those on Christopher's car. Throughout the summer, several other vehicles across Lee County experienced unusual damage and more and more reports of a enormous lizard-like creature came pouring in. But as fall rolled around, the sightings of this lizard man tapered off. It seemed that as suddenly as his reign of terror began, it ended. Now there have been reports of an unusual figure seen in Scape or Swamp over the decades, but this story really got revived in 2016 when a woman claimed to have irrefutable proof of his existence. Don't get too excited though. I wouldn't exactly call this photographic evidence. What do you think? Is there really an elusive cryptid stalking Lee County? Or is this a case of a town letting their imagination run wild? Before I let you go, I want to tell you one more tale from Scape or Swamp. And that's how it supposedly got its name. This story has roots in the American Revolution. It said that one evening, a group of militia men happened upon a British encampment. It was clear from the commotion going on that these British soldiers were entertaining female guests. Because they were distracted, the militia men were able to sneak up on and ambush the soldiers. 
in all the panic and chaos, the women fled into the swamp for safety, giving it the name Escape for Swamp. And we know this was the original name based on some old maps of the area. Over time, that name morphed into what it is today, Escape Or. All right, that is all I have for you tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed both tales, and I can't wait to see you again next week, the last week in this series of fireside videos.